Hey there everyone, my favourite city to photograph in all of Australia is Melbourne and I'm going to take you through my favourite cityscape locations in this wonderful city. Now because Melbourne is so wonderful, there are so many different things you can do in Melbourne when it comes to photography. I'm really just going to focus on cityscapes today. Um, there's lots of street photography that you can do as well, lots of wonderful landscape photography as well. Uh, but really for me it's just cityscape in this video, uh, just to narrow it down in that particular genre. So once I take you through my favourite spots, I'll also show you some examples of what I've taken when I've been visiting Melbourne over the years um, and I hope you enjoy them as well. The first spot that I visit is obviously Flinders Street Station. Now Flinders Street Station is probably one of the most favourite, uh, famous locations in all of Melbourne. It's very iconic um, and as such you'll always find a lot of photographers there. Uh, you could probably see up to a dozen tripods um, sitting at the intersection of Flinders Street um, with lots of photographers there really trying to get their take of Flinders Street Station. Um, it's amazing. You got obviously the, the wonderful historical building in the background. You have um, the commuters um, and the foot pedestrians crossing the four-way intersection as well. Um, and you also have the trams intersecting. So that can get some really good um, um, in-motion subjects uh, with Flinders Street in the background. I recommend taking um, images of Flinders Street either in the evening as the sun's going down or at night um, so you get some really cool light trails and movement with, um, with the trams. Um, so here's a couple of examples of my The next one I've got is Prince's Bridge. Now this is right next to Flinders Street Station, so it's just walking distance from Flinders Street. Um, and my recommendations for Prince's Bridge is to go down off um, the edges of Prince's Bridge on either side of the banks of the Yarra River. Um, and again, I recommend that um, either at sunset or at night because it'll be you'll be looking west um, into the city as well. Um, and in the background, you will have the Melbourne's tallest building, which is Eureka Building. Um, so it's an amazing spot to do. The bridge is really old and historical as well so um, the cobblestone pillars and things like that look really cool and you'll get the, the banks of the Yarra and it's just a really good spot um, to take a few images so here's more, a couple more of mine that I've taken over the years. Okay, the next one I've got is South Bank, and South Bank is right next to Princess Bridge. So again, this is all walking distance. Um, South Bank is on the banks of the um, Yarra River. Um, if you go on one particular side of South Bank, there you'll have the um, the river and then the city in the background. There's lots of cool little spots that you can um, set up your tripod, um, take some images there. Um, I recommend South Bank uh, probably in the morning or at night um, in particular. Um, in the morning you can get the sunrise coming up. Um, Melbourne is really particularly looks good on, on, from my perspective when it's just post rain and there's lots of puddles around, and there's some fog, there's some clouds. Melbourne really I think comes alive for me for photography in that um, time as well. So if it is raining um, throughout Melbourne and you're down there, so I think that's a really good, good spot. Some people might be a little bit disheartened if it's not clear weather, but for me, Melbourne really comes alive, particularly on South Bank, looking over Yarra into the city, just post some rain with some low hanging um, cloud and some fog through the buildings. It looks really cool. So here's a couple more um, that I've taken.
Next spot I've got is just as you walk down from South Bank is another bridge, and this is a pedestrian bridge called Sandridge Bridge. Um, this is a really cool bridge, uh, probably my favorite spot out of all of these spots. Um, it's got some really nice ironwork in there, some really nice lights. Um, but if you go there um, in the morning, um, you might get a bit of a sunrise. Um, but the way that the bridge is angled, if it's on an angle across the river and it looks straight down um, into the end of Flinders Street Station. So it's a wonderful angle. Right down the lead line of the bridge, you'll get the top of Flinders Street with some buildings in the background and it just looks absolutely amazing. Um, it looks really good. Um, again, I love it when there's just post rain, there's a few puddles on the bridge and you can get some nice reflections and things like that as well it's absolutely amazing um, so yeah check definitely check that one out As you keep going through Sandridge Bridge, again, you just keep walking on South Bank. You'll go past um, the Crown Casino, Melbourne Convention and Exhibition Centre. You can stop off there and take a few images, but probably the last one I really like to highlight is another pedestrian bridge, and that's called Web Bridge. Now, Web Bridge is a little bit different to Sandridge Bridge because it's very new and very modern, so it's got some really interesting enclosed lattice work um, that they use to des architecturally design this bridge. Um, and it's also over goes juts out over the water um, so that's really cool as well so you'll get sometimes you'll get some boats and some water um, the nice timber decking um, and then this wonderful steel type structure that's in sort of like a spider web um, metal worky type thing and it's really cool and quite interesting so um, yeah definitely worth checking that one out <laughs> So that's it. Um, so what do you think? Obviously this is very subjective to me. These are my favorite cityscape spots. I, I really particularly love photographing cityscape in Melbourne. Like I said at the start of the video, it's my favorite spot. Uh, it's my favorite city in all of Australia to photograph. Yes, that's including Sydney, sorry, Sydney siders, but um, Melbourne, just the heritage of Melbourne is absolutely amazing. It's really, really cool. And in my particular style of photographer, I like a little bit more mood. Um, I think the um, older buildings um, and things like that just really help with that style of photography. So I hope you enjoyed that and I hope you take something away. If you're visiting Melbourne, um, definitely do those, those spots. They're all actually within walking distance as well. So um, you could probably cover all of those locations just on foot in a couple of hours um, and evening and tonight. Um, if you really wanted to do it in one, one session, you definitely could. So yeah, hope you enjoyed that. I'll talk to you later.